Oh, oh yeah. This is the most <laughs> funnest, and it's not even a word, the most funnest lady to follow on Twitter. She is always up to no good. Oh, wait, I know. There's some messages that you guys probably shouldn't look at. No. <laughs> Well, you do know it's public domain once it's on Twitter. I know. There's, there's been a couple of mornings where I wake up, I'm like, oh my God, I should erase that. <laughs> no, you're fun though. I mean, I love your vines. Your vines yeah. are great. Like the last time, yeah. especially, you were like, you were talking about you're right there at Johnny Mercer's Pier and you're yeah, hanging yeah. out at Wrightsville Beach. Is that your exactly. beach of choice around I here? I think most of anything, you know, I'm a really big Instagrammer. Yes, you so are. So I Instagram a lot. So most of all my pictures are all Instagram. Yep. And I think you'll get a complete sense of who I am because that's what I do. Like, I know. You'll get Instagram I'm right there my with family. you of my friends, of me, of everybody. Yep, you're in New York, mm -hmm. and then your DJ friend, um, he's oh, so cute. DJ Ruckus. Yes. DJ Ruckus is probably one of the biggest DJs you guys should watch out for. Yeah. He's actually quite amazing. And he's quite adorable. Beautiful, actually. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> right, I got a question from a fan. I had to make sure. I had to ask around, because I work at Sunny 104.5, so I do a morning show, and I do the Wilmywood blog. I want to so, go on the show. Well, you should come Let's on the show. the morning show. Yes. I love radio. I love and you. TV and all shows. Let's do this. All right, we are so going to do it. I got a question from, oh, this is from the Under the Dome radio podcast. In the book, Rusty and Linda and their kids are under the dome, but in the trailers, it appears Rusty is outside of the dome. How does this change the dynamics of your characters, and do the kids exist? Okay, so with Under the Dome, you know, we are created of from the book. Right. You know, so we are, the, the book kind of, the show creates, keeps the characters. The book's keeps, the bones. Yeah, the, the book's basically the bones, and whatever kind of lies around it is is what it is. I don't have kids, as of now, at least I don't know. Right. That I have kids. <laughs> you never know. They with haven't these guys. told me yet. You never know with these guys. But no, I don't have kids, and Rusty and I are caught on different sides of the dome. Right. So that's the thing oh. was when I, one of the biggest things was. Um, when I got this job, it was like, I asked them if I should read the book. And they said, you know, it's up to you whether you want to or not because we veer off of it a lot. So right. basically, it's the backbone of it. You have the characters, you have the scenario, you have what's going on. But it veers off with different stories. Right. I personally, in, in my trade of work, I like to not read it because right. I don't like to be tainted and by discover, certain things. Discover who yeah, you are I, I rather I'd rather live like you guys and, and see what's going on with me week by week. If you want to know all the hot Hollywood happenings, I got it for you. In Wilmywood. That's right. What's up, Wilmywood? I listen to you on the way to work. Tune in to Sunny 104.5. 104.5. Mwah. I stole that from you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Sunny 104.5. What up, Wilmywood? What up, Sunny? 104.5. Mwah!